we promised the redevelopment agency, uh, which was Block 58, and there was a site for the hotel, that we would do the hotel. And uh, that was like saying, promising something was probably impossible to do at the time. But there's no money. Somebody said to me, have you ever thought of trying Societe Generale? I said, no, there's a Paris, France, sixth largest bank in the world. And so I call them, I call them in Paris. And they said, well, you need to call our representative in uh, New York City, Betsy Barone, because Betsy is the one that has to start anything like that hotel, like a hotel. So I called Betsy and made a, said, hello, Betsy, uh, do you, would you finance a hotel for us? And she said, we finance hotels. And I said, we want to buy, uh, finance a hotel in Salt Lake City. She said, how much? I said, over 40 million, probably 43 million. And she said, well, that's doable. But she said, I have to come to Salt Lake City and see what you're talking about, because I don't even know Salt Lake City. Anyway, she finally called and she said, I am coming to Salt Lake City to see the property and to see your deal. We have to kick the dirt and know where it is. So by golly, Betsy came and we picked her up at the airport and we did a Chamber of Commerce run of Salt Lake City. And so anyway, I said, well now, what's next step? She said, 40, three, $45 million, hey, that takes a senior vice president in charge of commercial property loans to come and see the site. I cannot approve it myself. He's in Paris, and I will get him to come from Paris to Salt Lake City, and I said, that would be fine. About the fourth week, she calls me and says, he's coming, he's coming right to Salt Lake City to see that property and see if we can make that loan. And I said, we will meet him at the airport. Give us the flight and the time and we'll be there. Well, he came in in the morning and we said, you know, we have a joint venture with Sheridan. And when we were given the opportunity uh, to build or develop Block 58, we promised the redevelopment agency we'd build a hotel, and now we found that we find out that there are no hotel lenders in the United States, none. And uh, all we need is forty-five million dollars. We uh, gave him the dog and pony show, and then he said, "You know, slow down, you guys." And we said, "Well." He said, I, I'm a skier of the French Alps, and I ski the Swiss Alps, and I ski the German Alps. And he said, and I'm a really good skier, but I hear about this thing called Alta. We said, Alta, yeah, yeah, I, I hear about that, and I hear about this thing called Park City and some of these ski resorts. And he said, of course, I've never seen them, but I'd like to. So can we go see the ski resorts? And we said, you know, we've got, um, dinner at La Caille at seven o'clock, and if you, you have to go up three different mountain roads to do that, they don't connect, and uh, I don't know how we, how we could do it. And he said, well, that's more important to me than going to dinner. I said, well, we got an idea. We'll do both. I called the airport, and they said, you know, we, we have a bird here ready to go, and we can have it on top of American Towers in 15, 20 minutes. We got a pilot and everything. Went, Great, send him over. So he came over and this was the way he could see the Brighton area that he knew about and the Snowbird area and all of those. We did get out to our reservation. Well, we got up, went to breakfast. He was there on time, we were there on time. He had his legal pad and he had about three sheets of those, you know, little quarter inch areas full of questions. And so we had answered them the best we could. We were on pins and needles. On Friday afternoon about four o'clock, I don't know what time he sent it for this time, it came here. And two words, loan approved. Uh, 
uh, we built that building in 365 days. There was somebody checking in at the desk 365 days. He said, I, I, they didn't come one time on a building inspection. They got pictures. We sent them from time to time of the construction. Well, they couldn't believe it. And they said this building uh, in Egypt, now into over five years, and we're not, you're near complete. How do you do it? 24 hours a day. We're working up to the full year, and it's done. It was good for Clark Leeming because we did the furnishings, but it wasn't very successful. It, not what it should be, not what it became, but we decided with Sheridan we should sell it. Then they gave me a call a little later, and they said, well, we need to buy you out because of the situation. How much do you want? And I was just sitting here at my desk. I didn't have a clue. I said, uh, so I just thought for about three or four minutes, and I said, well, we'll sell our half a million dollars. They said, that'll be fine. And they bought our half a million dollars. 